Well, from favorite neighborhoods to Lake Michigan beaches, museums, restaurants, Chicago, of course, has a ton to offer. Oh, you better believe it. And now there is a new guidebook to help narrow it all down. Perfect Day Chicago Grab-and-Go Itineraries for Everyone. Author Wendy Altshuler is here now to tell us a little bit more about this book. Hello, thank you for coming in, first of thank all. Thank you so much for having me. It's really exciting to be here to talk about Perfect Day Chicago, yeah. this book I've been working on for about a year now. Yeah. So it's exciting to see it in fruition, and it's mm -hmm. tangible. So. There we go. We yeah. have it. We took a look at it, and what I love about it is that you break it down into neighborhoods. So of the 77 neighborhoods, you hit on a few of them. I've got to imagine it's, it's got to be pretty difficult to pick what places you're going to highlight, um, and you know whether it's restaurants and museums how did you do that how did you pick the spots so I'm a seasoned travel and adventure writer by mm -hmm. profession mm -hmm. and I write for major publications on destinations across the globe and Chicago is one of them mm -hmm. and Art. I live in the city or mm -hmm. you know in the Chicagoland area so I'm very excited to include Chicago so when I was asked to write this book I jumped at the chance because mm -hmm. of course I love the city and so how I picked the places was just using my own experience in the travel industry um, and in the media industry so uh, and also as a mother and you know I've experienced the city as a yeah. mother and and fun fact I used to play roller derby in <laughs> Chicago oh, <yeah. laughs> even just with that so right. the the book is really for everyone whether you're young whether mm -hmm. you're a couple whether you're a family mm -hmm. or maybe even an athlete uh, this book there'll be something in here that's and great it specifically okay. mentions like oh if you're in Andersonville and you go to this spot this is a good time if you have kids to go um, what are a couple of your favorite spots that don't necessarily make it into the travel brochures or the convention and visitors mm -hmm. bureau oh you know that is actually one of the best opportunities I had when researching mm -hmm. this book um, so, for example, Back of the Yards is one of those wonderful neighborhoods mm -hmm. that I knew about because I had written a story on kind of coffee shops, and I had mm -hmm. heard of Back of the Yards Coffee, which is just this fantastic coffee shop. And so I knew I wanted to explore more yeah. about that neighborhood. And uh, the Back of the Yards neighborhood, as you may know, sort of stamped Chicago as the hog butcher for the world yes. mm -hmm. um, back with the Union Stockyards. And so there's just this really rich history there. And there are two kind of relics that you can go and see. One is the Union Stockyard Gate, the limestone gate that is mm -hmm. still there. Sure, yeah. Really beautiful. Mm -hmm. And the second is this really cool old tavern that has been there from the Whiskey Road days, yes. the boozy corridor back when people from the stockyards would go and have a drink after work mm -hmm. and blow off steam. There's one tavern left, just one, that's, that's still there in the same spot. And so in researching this book, I was like, well, I got to go see that place. Mm -hmm. And I brought my husband down and I went to go in and the door was locked. And I was like, oh, no, oh, I wow. want to see this place. Yeah. Um, so I'm standing back taking pictures. And then this man comes out and he's like, what are you doing here? <laughs> and I was like, oh, they fumbled over my words. Yeah. And I was like, I'm a writer. I sent out an email, but no yeah. one responded mm -hmm. because this is a word of mouth place. Okay. There's no uh, so website. So did you get in? So anyway, the man there is the one who's okay. the family guy who's Love owned it. it, and he let us in and Love got it. to explore it, and it's yeah. just such a cool gem that not everyone has heard about. Sure. Stanley's yeah. is the tavern, and an old jukebox that plays polka music. And yeah. so it's yeah. great because you give it a little bit of a historical perspective to some of these hot tourist spots as well. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So I try to just include something unique about mm -hmm. it. I, I did want to pick in each of the neighborhoods, the book is structured by neighborhood. Right. I wanted to pick something in each of those sections that would appeal towards everyone. Right. It's a very general kind of selection. So whether you are traveling with your family or you're a young couple mm -hmm. going out trying to find something fun. When do you give us the name of the book again? Perfect Day Chicago Grab and Go Itineraries for Everyone. I feel like okay. the, your, your next book should be <laughs> Chicago Beyond the Bean. Because oh, it always bugs yeah. me. People are like, I want to go to the Bean. I want to yeah. go to the Bean or I want to go downtown or I want to have deep dish pizza. In Chicago yeah. is 77 neighborhoods and I'm so glad you hit them all. Yeah, Wendy mm -hmm. from the Windy City. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. All right. We appreciate it. Thank you. you. Well,